how can we include people with dementia in our community? We've all whispered the words, haven't you heard? They've got dementia. News travels fast. What doesn't seem to spread, however, is how to act towards someone with dementia. Maybe you've experienced this before. You're at your favorite restaurant when an older man leans in for a chat. He's friendly enough, but you have no idea what he's going on about, and you're secretly relieved when he gets up to go. But after he walks out, there's a commotion. The waitress drags the man back to the restaurant, marching him to the manager. He hasn't paid his bill, and the restaurant staff are too annoyed to notice that he's embarrassed and very disoriented. Would it change things if they knew that the man had forgotten to pay his bill due to his dementia? Of course it would. The fact is around 5% of people over the age of 65 will get dementia in their lifetime, which means that man in the restaurant could be one of your family members, one of your friends, or even you. Just imagine that for a minute. You're talking to a friend, telling a story you know they love. But at the punchline, you struggle for words. In fact, you can't remember names for things at all. This happens a few times, and suddenly you're second guessing whether to tell your stories or say anything at all. A situation that is very isolating. But it gets worse. Because for some people, dementia makes them feel uncomfortable. Some friends might snub you, pretend they don't see you on the street, which is exactly what you don't need. What you do need are friends that treat you like they always did, going with you to the cinema, shopping, or out to your favorite restaurant where the staff are understanding and friendly. Which all means mm. It's probably time to stop the whispering and time to start talking about how you and your community include people with dementia. Not only because your future may depend on it, but because no one should be cut off from telling a good story. 